is going down through the entire town, freaking anarchy and all it brings. I can't sit idly, no, I can't move at all. I curse the name, the one behind it all. Discord, I'm holding up the moon and sleeping in the middle of a summer afternoon. Discord, whatever did we do to make you take no other way? Discord, are we a prey alone or are we just a stepping stone for taking back the moon? Brent Hausman here, and that was quite of an interesting opening, wasn't it? The video is Smile HD if you want to check it out. It's on YouTube. And it's an interesting look at My Little Pony. Let's leave it at that. But you guessed it, this is the My Little Pony Vlogs. Number 2, Friendship is Magic Part 2. This is the second episode in the series, and the second of a two-parter. With the first one, I it sort of introduced the different characters and the main villain of at least this part. It basically introduced a central storyline to kick things off. And it was good. It was surprisingly good. So what's the second episode? Well, the second episode leaves off where the first ends. The first ends where pretty much Nightmare Moon has returned and declared Endless Night. This is a problem, obviously, because the sun is a kind of a big deal. So at this point, the ponies, Twilight Sparkle and her new friends, have to figure out something to do. So they venture deep into uh, this forest called the Everfree Forest in search of these mythical stones called the Elements of Harmony. They're said to be able to stop this evil. Now they've done it in the past according to the stories, but... Uh, in present time, they're pretty much just known as legends. So they go into the forest to try and stop them, and Nightmare Moon is on their tail. And yes, I know that was a stupidly bad pun. Nightmare Moon uh, goes throughout the forest as sort of a spiritly essence. And she's creating all these obstructions to try and stop the other ponies from reaching the elements of harmony. She uh, does different things that seem to be based on their, based on the ponies themselves, because each of the ponies uses their strengths to stop them. For example, uh, Pinkie Pie ends up singing a song about laughter and uh, basically just smiling in the face of danger at one point. And there's uh, Rainbow Dash when she's... Uh, basically tempted to join this flying squad that's a, supposed to be a big deal while they're praising her she shows her loyalty by proving that she will not abandon her friends for her own selfish goals and it actually has some very good messages in it with this episode but anyways uh the ponies soon find the elements in this uh old castle ruin type thing but nightmare moon comes and destroys the elements of harmony this, of course, at first seems to hurt every plan they've had. I mean, it seems to just completely ruin everything. But soon Twilight realizes that her and her friends are the physical embodiments of the elements of harmony themselves. Applejack is the element of honesty. Fluttershy is kindness. Pinkie Pie is laughter. Rarity is generosity, Rainbow Dash is loyalty, and Twilight herself is the last and uh, formerly hidden element, magic. They end up defeating Nightmare Moon in the end and return her to her original form, finding out she's the younger sister, uh, Princess Luna, of Princess Celestia, the princess of the kingdom that had gone missing. And... She looks a lot different in this original form because she does look like the rest of the ponies, really young and small. While uh, Princess Celestia looks like a mare, looks like the older uh, pony, I guess you could say. And everything seems to be fine. They go back, Celestia forgives Luna, and Luna seems to completely break down and accept the forgiveness and become a good guy it seems or a good pony or good girl or whatever i don't know at the end they go back to the party and it's or the celebration or whatever they're doing it 
and they seem to be having a good time. And the only problem at this is that Twilight realizes she's made such good friends, but she has to leave to fulfill her duties working for the princess. But the princess sees this and decides to uh, order Twilight to remain in Ponyville and study the magic of friendship. And it's a inter very interesting episode because it really brings together the climax. It shows problems. It has a very great way of addressing those problems. I mean, you see all the different messages. There's a lot of them pushed into this episode. There's a lot of different things. I mean, through laughter, loyalty, generosity, all that. And it's just, it may be a little much to some viewers, but it actually works really well, showing how each of them is different, but they all have that kind of, uh, what's the word? <laughs> they all have their specific things to them that make them, like, good ponies, or, yeah. And it's really interesting, to say the least. Now, this is only the second episode, so I haven't seen enough to really make it anything different. I'm still not a brony or whatever, because I'm still not convinced that this is a great show. It's a good show, but it's not great yet. Uh, this is the first episode to feature a signature song for the episode, which is the laughter song sung by Pinkie Pie. And, oh, one thing about that, when she starts singing in the episode, I really, really like how the other ponies start, like, questioning it. Like, uh, Twilight actually asks, is she really doing this? Because in a lot of shows like this, you'll see they start singing for absolutely no reason, and no one questions it. It's just, like, happening, and everybody else starts singing. And it's like, why? But it's actually refreshing to see that questioned. Because it actually makes it realize that it's not just part of the show. It is actually... Pinkie Pie's actually singing, and it's real. It's not just like this is a musical. So that was actually pretty interesting. I don't know exactly when I'll get to the third episode, which is called The Ticketmaster. It depends when I have the time. I might do it tomorrow. I might not be able to do it tomorrow. I don't know at this point. But when I do, I will do another vlog. And until then... I will probably do some other stuff as well. I plan to do a Rocky Horror Picture Show review to celebrate Halloween. Because I did say I was going to do videos for Halloween, but I haven't had the time, you know. So I am going to do that. I'm, I'm going to continue with my Skyrim reviews. And, yeah, that's all for now. So, I'll see you next time.